Hello and welcome to this video. When you create charts, it's okay to give any color to any random variable, but when you're creating a big report, it's very important to have a fixed color for each categorical variable. This demo is going to show you how to do that. So let's start with the libraries. I'm going to use ggplot to create our charts, and I'm going to use wake field to create our sample data set. And I'm going to use the patchwork to combine multiple charts into a single chart. So let's get started. So let's create some sample data set. And I'm going to use the Wakefield package or library to create some sample data set. Let's say we are working in a hospital set setting where we have some patients. We have the name of the patients and then the sex of the patient. So in this case, I'm using a character variable and a factor variable to demonstrate the differences between these two. So we have this data set the names and the sex as a character and sex as a factor. So let's see what it means. So in this demo, you're going to learn how to create consistent colors in your report so that everywhere your charts look exactly the same with exactly the same colors for each variable. So let's create a color palette first. So I've created a color palette which has three different colors. So that's fine. Let's use that. And how do I know about all these colors? I don't. I simply type the colors command and then it can list you all the colors which exist in R. So these are the named colors. So you can pick whatever you want for your color palette. Our job today is to find out what's the best approach to get consistent colors. So to do that, I'm going to use the character variable first. Remember we created, in our data set, we created a character variable and a factor variable. So the idea is to test both and see which one is a better approach. And very quickly, this is our first script for the John bar. So I'm creating a bar chart. I'm using the color palette which we just created. Let's run it and see. So the chart has been created and we have some colors. Let's go further. So the first chart is done. Now let's imagine that in your report you have to create a second chart. Now in the second chart your data set would be different. So in this case let's say that we only want to see the male and female. So I'm subsetting the data instead of using the complete data set, I'm subsetting it and filtering it for male and female. So if I run this chart, we would see a bar chart with two bars in there. Let's create more charts just to see the effect of the, of the colors when we subset the data differently. So in this case, it's male and intersex, and the colors seems to be there, but we don't know if they're consistent or not yet. We'll see. So then the fourth chart, now let's see all the charts together. And then we'll be able to appreciate the difference between all, all different charts. So you can see females are in blue color, but I can see that intersex is blue now. Similarly, male is violet in one and then male is pink in another chart. So it's, the color is all over the place. So at this stage, some people might think, oh, if we created a factor variable for the sex column, it will do the job. But let's put this to test as well. So I'm going to use the sex underscore factor column now to, to create a chart, this one. So here is a chart which is using the factor variable. And let's see if the colors are consistent or not. So here we go, the first chart. So we have male, female, intersex. And remember, this is a factor variable. So if I type it out, and see the factors. So the first factor is male, second factor is female, the third factor is intersex. Now, would this be enough to create a factor variable and then use that in our chart to get consistent colors? Let's see. So let's quickly repeat our charts with different subsets of the data, the second chart and the third chart and the fourth chart. And in each case, I'm using different subsets of the data, like male intersex and in one, female intersex and in other and so on. Let's examine all the charts together as a single plot. So we can see that the colors are still not consistent. In the last chart, the color of female has changed and the, the colors are still all over the place. In our reports, we want a consistent color to be shown for each. For example, male should have exactly the same color no matter where you plot it. And here is the best approach. And we'll develop this best approach one by one. So the first part of the best approach is this. And remember how we created our color palette? We created a color palette using three colors. And now we're going to create the names for this color palette also. So names of the color palette. So I'm saying male is the deep sky blue color, 
female is going to be hot pink and intersex is going to be the darker orchid color. So using this, you can see that a name has been given to the, each color. So in our effort to find out the best approach, let's create the first set of charts and I'm going to use the factor variables and, and start creating all the four charts again. And very quickly, if I run these commands together and then uh, show the final plots again as a single plot, here we go. Male is blue in all the charts, female is pink in all charts, and intersex is violet in all the charts. So it's looking good. So finally, let's repeat the same process using the character variables, sex underscore character. Different data sets, different subsets of data set, running all the charts again. Let's see all the four charts together. And the color seems to be consistent. But the order has changed. Remember in our factor variable, we had males as the first one, female as the second, intersex as the third. So findings is that using the named color palette works well. But apart from that, I personally like the factors as well. So all the categorical variables, I'll convert them to factors and then use the named colors to have a consistent colors and consistent order in all your charts. So I hope you found this information useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.